Good afternoon. Welcome to Artist Spotlight on Life 97.5 FM. You know what we do? We chat with the gospel artists using their voice to glorify God and proclaim him. And today I'm just so honored to um, chat with Ed Wiggins. Good afternoon to you, Ed Wiggins, gospel yeah. artist, rapper, keyboardist, singer, <laughs> Plus, plus, plus. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for having me. Yes, sir. Good to be able to meet with you and, and to chat with you. Uh, so, Ed Wiggins, tell us about yourself. Where are you located? How did you get into the music business? Oh, wow. That's a that's a big one. Um, I'm actually from Florida, um, more like in the Orlando, Tampa market. That's where I, that's where I reside. So I'm from. Uh, so I'm a Floridian. I'm a Florida boy. All right. Um, Got some music, uh, Lord, when I was like seven or eight, my mom and dad, well, my mom and dad sung and played. And as you know, um, my background was Kojic, so I stayed in church all the time playing something. But I took a liking to uh, the piano. And one day my dad did something with his fingers and I just kind of seen him do it. And I, and I just did, did it, you know, just trying something. And from there, he got me involved with playing the piano and the organ and, and so on and so on. I was good at it. so. Um, so that's what kind of broke me into the music scene industry. Um, I like everything. So um, I just strive, strive to do different things and stuff like that. But anyway, but that's what I was doing. All right. That's great. So this started from really, really young. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was uh, I used to go out and play revivals and stuff like that. Uh, I started playing for art, like those local R&B people, uh, choirs, uh, stuff like that. And just everywhere I could. I enjoyed it. That was my outlet. So um, that's kind of where I fell at. And my brother was a drummer. I mean, my whole family kind of played something. and But I just happened to fall into it in line with everyone else. So, uh, But it led me to uh, um, wanting to do, you know, vocals. So um, I kind of started, I got into, I used to play for a rap group early in life. And uh, one day they couldn't make it. You said you and played I had, for a rap group? Yeah, I played for a rap group. It's a local rap group I had played for. Uh, for church, you know, and one day they couldn't make an event that I had arrived to, and um, I knew all their stuff. So, and one day I just I said, "Well, I'm gonna go." The pastor asked me, "Can you go ahead and just still do something?" So I did. I was very nervous because I wasn't a rapper, <laughs> or a singer, and I did it, and uh, it was a great job. And nice. I think I was 16, 17 years old. From there, I've been doing it. <laughs> wow, <laughs> yeah. that's great. Yep. Yeah. Oh my, my, my. So were you solo all the time or you would have gone with group at that time from then? Oh, um, solo group, solo group, solo group, all off and on, off and on. I enjoyed uh, the workmanship of others. I like a team. Mm -hmm. uh, I just do. I, being by yourself is fine. But even now, you know, um, I'm a solo artist, but I have a band, you know, um, that I go everywhere with. So I like working with other people. It brings the uh, best out of you at times, working with others. That, that is really something. So you've been doing this a while. Um, what what yeah. are some of the, the lessons you have learned along the way? Whew, patience is something that you tend to learn or over time is patience uh, and how to trust the process, um, how to trust God. You know, for a minute, uh, I did. I stopped doing music. I didn't want to have nothing to do with it. But I believe sometimes when you're calling and you have a purpose, Sometimes I believe God brings it back around to you to try it again. And when you have a talent or something that the world may need um, to, to bring glory to the kingdom and to bring souls, um, I believe God has use for you in anything you do. And no matter how much I ran from it and rejected it, music tends to find me every time. God tends to find me every time. And I'd be like, I'm not even living right. I don't want nothing. I don't want to have nothing to do with that spins me right back around i believe your 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 destiny no matter what how far you go off from it it, it comes back full circle every time I say hey i'm ready i'm ready it's up to you to choose and reluctantly I, I didn't want to and i kind of found a call in it i found the purpose in doing what i'm doing now it ain't about fame it ain't about money it's about people knowing who god is in a real relationship because we all for in life want to know where we came from and where we're going and that's that's kind of where uh, where I'm at in life. I want you know where where I come from, him, where I'm going. I want to go back there. So uh, purpose is where I'm at. Yes, ma'am. 
do you have your phone? <laughs> well, I see you're a preacher too, so I'm ready for a little sermon right now. Hey, you know? hey <laughs> man. Um, I actually do uh, I actually do speak uh speak and teach and preach. So I actually do that. That's something that um I minister. So I do that as well, youth events or wherever, wherever God leads me in the Bible to speak on. Um I try to be very effective and impactful when he asks me. I'm actually got my word out right now, actually, because before you before we did the interview, I like to read a little bit. So but go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. Amen. Amen. No, that's good. It's all good. It's all good. You know, it it, it it's all the different pieces that make up Edwin Gates. You know, and yes. as you said, we all have a purpose and yes. uh, some people try to run from what it is that God has in store for them because mm. they're probably afraid of, of what is to come. So when mm -hmm. you encounter those those people, whether they be musicians, rappers, singers, preachers, uh, you know, what message do you give to them? Because you yourself would have encountered that you were reluctant, but then God, God you know, you, you gave in. What, what do you say to them? Um, I, I always tell people everybody has a process um, when when I'm talking to people about this journey and it's a lot of people that's on the same journey or been on the same journey I've been on and I always tell them like you know just you just gotta you gotta find your purpose why are you doing what you're doing do you feel like this is really you you know um, and I and I try to encourage people you know get to know God give him a chance you know and I'm not telling you to serve God to the capacity of, you know, you got to shout and, you know, uh, speaking in tongues. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying give God his, a full attention because a lot of times people have their own opinion and they have their own, uh, 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 what's the word, stereotype who God is and they never even try it. It's just like me telling you, hey, I know how to pave a road, but I never paved the road, you know, mm -hmm. or, 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 or how to make a hamburger at, at, at McDonald's. I don't know how to do that. Okay. But until actually try to tell you what I feel about it. I had a talk a while ago with an atheist and, you know, I, I'm open-minded just to hear what they got to say. I'm really sounding my Bible, my word. And the whole time I said, I understand all the points you make is very, very, very valid. And I feel what you're coming from, but have you tried yourself to be committed to this belief all the way? Just give it a shot. Cause he, you know, the Bible is going to tell you, you no, know, he's not going to force you to do anything. You know, he's going to let you make the choice. That's the beauty that what God gives us, even from the beginning with Adam and Eve, it's always been a choice. It's never been a force. Oh, you have to. It's, hey, I'm right here. You that's give, right. I give. Right. You know, you sacrifice, I'm sacrificing. And that's why I tell people all the time, hey, just try them and try and, and take your steps. Sometimes people can't jump in the frying pan and see where they land. Sometimes they got to take baby steps, but it's okay. You're still processing. You're still transitioning. You're still renewing your mind. It's a process. And that's why I encourage people to do um, concerning those things. When I came from, I just had to start just trusting because I didn't want to at first, even though I had this background full of church background and I went in the streets a little bit, but you know, it, you just got to try. You got to really say, you know what? I'm, I'm going to try this thing and let's see what happens. Haven't, haven't disappointed me yet. He Amen. drives I'm on the passion side. So, <laughs> Yeah. That's right. So you can get to relax, right? Because he's driving. That's it. So you're good. <laughs> yes, wow, yes, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. So so mm -hmm. what what inspires your lyrics? What inspires oh. you? Um it's funny. I was in the studio last night going over some music. Uh one of my producers was like, hey, come on over, let's run through some old music so you can get some more songs out. Um and I said, Well, okay, come on. He asked me what my process was, exactly what you said. I have to actually I use the right what I'm going through at the moment. I don't like, I can't pull from the past so too much or what futures, future I can't when it concerns worship. Cause I know I'm looking toward worshiping and adoring my God every day. But some things like the song I, I wrote my single called I Pray. Uh, at the time that I started writing the song, I didn't know where I was going with it. I just know the beat had caught my attention, but some things in the world was happening, which is a concerns for my, for my kids, for children, for our future and the narrative that the world paints for them, which is division. You know, if you look at some of the lyrics, if you listen to the song, toward the end of it, it's like, uh, you know, when the kids wake up and realize, you know, and people still like they're telling lies, you know, about, you know, about keeping us separate. You know, unity is what, what's gonna bring us together and for us to move in our final movement of humanity. We don't have that. We can get that with God, you know, and the body of Christ. And, and that kind of, kind that those kind of moments help me write uh, my lyrics. I, I try to be like nobody. I just write what I feel. 
I write with, and I, I believe the Holy Spirit leads me in those ways. And usually I write it one time, that's really it. I take my time to do it. It takes, some, it takes usually about sometimes a 30 minutes to an hour, I got a whole song. And, um, but it has to be what I'm going through at the moment. Yeah. Um, like uh, right now, I'm, search I'm searching for direction from God right now. So last night, the song that I purchased last night, it's going to be about direction. <laughs> so, oh, wow, that's yeah. good. That's good. Mm -hmm. you, you know, as, as you're saying that, um, you think of, of, of gospel artists and the, the process, as you say. And, you know, for some, it may take a little longer to understand that you have to do, you have to be authentic. You have to do what it is that God is telling you to do at that moment in time and not try to be like everybody else. Exactly. Um yeah how how long did that take you to to get you know some people just get it like that and some it takes a little while did you always un have that understanding no i didn't uh i tried i think i think the process again is um finding your own way usually the what i used to think to write is what i do now i just had to go cancel out a few ideas that i thought oh i gotta write like this guy i have to process like everyone else and things like that, but you get back to it once you are true to self, which is that's finding that relationship with God, you kind of, you finally, I'm gonna write this how I feel. Because when you rap it or when you sing it or when you play it, people who are receiving what you're saying, they are able to, to feel the authenticness of it, the or organicness of it, because it's, it's, it's comes from you naturally. It's not, a, it's not a counterfeit, it's, the, it's you. And that, that makes it more powerful instead of trying to replicate what someone is all doing, because a lot, you know, you hear people say, hey, I want to be like this person over here, but you don't know what they did to get there. Right. You don't know the sacrifice they had to get to get to that point. So for me, it's like, I'm going to write mine, and this is how I feel. And if if they like it, that's great. I, I, I really want people to like what I, but at the end of the day, I'm preaching the gospel, you know, and I'm trying to preach it through love, and because and, and, the you know to try to draw people in and in, and in, in real facts and things that we actually feel in this, today, they'll reach someone. Everybody's not gonna like it. I had to come to that. But hey, you write how you you write what you write. You sing what you sing. Play what you play. And the trick I had to learn is like, I wanted to write for people, but sometimes I'm writing for myself. And sometimes it feels like I'm just communicating with him. And once I'm able to do that, people see that. Okay, do I want to hear that story? Do I want to read that book that has this cover? And that's it. It takes time to filter things out, but keep 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 writing, keep keep playing, and keep trying. <laughs> that's solid. That's solid. All right. Yeah. Well, well, as you right put it said, you know, there's some who will like it and some who don't. But um, how have people responded to your your music? Um, I gotta be honest. Uh, better than I thought. Amen. <laughs> Um, I'm in, I'm writing like this song, a song called I Pray. I'm writing and I just really wrote it from the heart, like how I felt the song. And people, are, oh man, the lyrics are so dope. Sometimes I'm taking it back. I'm like, this got to be the Holy Spirit or something, like because <laughs> I didn't try to like get a punchline right there. I really just wrote how I felt and what I was thinking. And like, yo, you rap so you, you sound like a Tupac or you sound like this. And man, you um, your power. You sound like you like a. Uh, uh, what do you call a, a politician type was but preaching something for the for the community that I, I mean i tell them all the time listen i, I don't call I, sometimes i like to call myself a lyricist or or rapper or sometimes it'd be like hey i'm just a child of god trying to use my talents to, to spread the word you know and however it comes out if they say i be i tell them all the time all god no gas it ain't me that's ah, him i like that <laughs> yep <laughs> all yep, god that's... no gas that's good that's good right <laughs> Oh, uh, well, you're also heavily involved in the community. Well, what is some of the work that you do? So um, I help out with a lot of different organizations. Um, if it's Habitat community or any local church, uh, including what I'm doing myself, it's going to be Ed Wiggins Foundation. Um, basically, I go to communities. I pass out food. Um, I try to make get them education. I try to bring events to the community. Uh, if it's any, like I, I used to work at the Boys and Girls Club um, when I was first coming up, and I was also a member there for a long time. Even though my dad was a pastor, my mom was a pastor, sometimes that extra role model helped me out, shaped me who I was in my in my line of life. And I tried to do that. And um, the, way, the way people are in need right now, I don't think everybody knows. 
I would bring bas a basket of food to people, just random people on the street. If you, are, if I see you, if I'm in a certain area, I'm just, I give, I'm trying to give like 500 boxes of food, and the the gratitude that people say, hey man, I have nothing in my fridge. How did you know? Wow. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times people, when they go to church, they say, hey, you know, y'all come to my church or y'all come here. Jesus didn't tell them to go nowhere. Jesus went where they were, and he gave. You know, we, we're here to serve. Um, I heard TDJ say that too. Before you start a church, you should see what the community needs. Right now, my community needs a lot. You know, we're suffering. And it's not, I'm not just saying black folks, and I'm not saying just white people. I'm not just saying uh, Asians. I'm not saying just uh, Hispanics. I'm saying everybody. Everybody needs some type of help. We're missing something. You know, our government, is not, it can't provide everything. You know, church has to step in and, and help. You know, if it's come with counseling, um, schooling, if it comes to uh, uh, food, clothing, um, education, these things that we, as the body of Christ, uh, uh, people who know who God is, we, we need to go out there and do it. This is what a real work at, like um, next next month, uh, this, uh, next month now, I'll be going to Kenya for a mission trip, you know? And and when you do things, you see how the world is, where, what the real need is. We are need, man. And if we have, we're blessed to, to give back, give back. And I'm passionate about doing that. And I will continue to do this for my lifetime to give. Cause you know, you know, uh, when you have a lot, it ain't just for you. When God blesses you with the wealth, it ain't just for you. When God bless you with that car, it ain't just for you. It's to help, it's to help someone else, you know, that's in the, and it replicates and replicates because I, I remember in the Bible reading, uh, I think it was Acts yesterday that the, uh, they bring this stuff to the, uh, to the, to the apostles feet, right? Everybody yeah. bringing, bro, these, right yeah, so as, and guess what they did the, whoever there was none no no one in need why because yes, it was yeah. there yeah. and that's just what we should do in that same type of uh, scheme of things let's give back let's make sure let's try to get everybody to get something we can't get everybody but as as far as your hands can stretch maybe i can get a thousand we me and you together we can get ten thousand and that's where that even though i do music it's all into this is where it really boils down to helping how can you really know the, the 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 revelation of Jesus Christ? You know, in and, and a very a very commercial, but also a very underground way. Like, hey, this is who I am. This is what we're about, and that's kind of where I why I follow that with the community. I'm here to help. I don't I don't want anything. I've been wow. helped before. Amen. Um, I say this last thing about it. When I was in need a long time ago, I had to work two jobs. I was very bad off. I'm mean, barely can pay the light bill. And at the time I was married, I had a little kid and my first child, we in the, we are in the hood. I mean, we in there, roaches, everything. And I just pray to God, like, I don't know how I'm gonna do it. Let me let you know something. Somebody dropped um, food onto my house every month and that fed us for a while. Some, somebody paid my light bill for six months. Wow. Don't know who did it. I ended up finding out that it was the community that the people that had association that was in the neighborhood we living in Somebody told them, hey, they in need, and they just went and did it. So I want to give that back again. That's my mm -hmm. testimony. That, hey, I was down for a minute. I'm just going to replicate who helped me. That's what that's that good. is. That's good. <laughs> oh, wow. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Wow. Yep. Oh, man. So, so what's next for you? What's next for you? You said you're recording a song last night. You were doing a song last night. Um, when can we expect that to be released um well it's a lot of songs. i have a lot of songs in my inventory so okay. you guys are going to see a lot of songs i'm probably going to drop a uh, i'm gonna have a video for every song that i have released just about a visual um and uh the next song is gonna be you know be coming out it's called fireman it's a lot of energy it's gonna be dope with uh with a guy named jay harmony music um it's gonna it's it's that song that gets you pretty hyped up about uh about what god is doing um, and also it's going to help a lot of people that don't know God, you know, that what we do is fun and it's exciting. We can have a great lifestyle with God. Um, but we should hear, hear that. I think the lyrical video should drop in about two weeks, um, stuff like that, but we're going to continue to drop music every month. I also have a lot of, um, uh, content on my YouTube as well at, at Wiccans Project. There's a lot of different content on there as well. Not Could just you repeat music, that, please? Could you repeat the link, please? Edward, please? Edward Wiggins, that's my first name, Edward Wiggins uh, Project. Not Ed Wiggins Project, but Edward Wiggins Project. For some reason, YouTube won't let me have that. But oh. anyway, 
<laughs> so it'll be dropping stuff on that. Um, my IG, which is Ed Wick, is official. Um, my Facebook will be also Ed Wick's official. Um, you guys can uh, check that out. Uh, and I'll be dropping content all the time. Every day I'm doing something. So don't miss out. If you do miss out, you can go back and look at it. Um, my TikTok is always is also Ed Wiggins official as well. So follow me on there as well. But I'm always dropping stuff. The songs are con- going to continue. Um, and hopefully we be in a, either an ear near you, in your eyes on somebody's TV, or we be in a church, high school, college, or uh, 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 some type of festival that you come watch us in. Hopefully this COVID stuff uh, resides a little bit. We can you know, have an in-person meet and greet and uh, have a great time and uh, ministering in this, this music. That's wonderful. And where's your music available? Uh, you can find us on, on, on all platforms. So anywhere you can buy music is there. That's Apple Tunes, um, Spotify. I love Spotify, by the way. That's the, I like that one. Unfortunately, <laughs> um, we can't get it in Barbados, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so that's where you're from. Yes, hey, you sir. Know, I love the islands, so I, I just came to Jamaica. Yeah, I love the islands. Oh, my you God. Have you been I to heard Jamaica? That. Yeah, I was in Montego Bay. I went to Dunn's River Fall and all that nice. other stuff like that. I I'm actually love Jamaican. People. I'm a Jamaican Barbadian. What? Hey! Yes, oh, love. One love. <laughs> if you notice in that song, when, um, I Pray, I say one one, um, one love, one blood, one love. Well, I, I got that from what um, the Jamaicans ah. was teaching me about. They say we are all one people. One blood. That's right. And peace and love. So I, That's right. But uh, I love I love the islands. I go every year, at least well, somewhere, man. Well, we we'll say we we'll say so that we say, yeah, man, it goes so. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys, so they said, uh, I say, why you guys driving on the left side? The left side is the uh, left side, the right side, the right side is suicide. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> It's crazy. Well, I love the people. And you know what? The way they respect each other and the way they are about God. Oh, blew yeah. my mind. Yeah. I was, uh, I had been wanting to go to Jamaica since I had been like 16 for a mission trip. Okay. And I finally went there and got some red fruit and finally got me some good old oxtails. Mm. Mm. And good stuff. No, man. <laughs> That's good. The good stuff. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Love it. Love it. That's love it. good. That's good. But you can, like I say, find me on also. Also, you can also find me on the Ed Wiggins Project, uh, dot com. That's my website. Uh, everything is also on that page as well, including merch and stuff like that as well, too. Uh, so check me out. I'll be, I would love to visit you guys and talk to you. Nice. All right. Ed Wiggins, it's been a pleasure chatting with you for Artist Spotlight. And we wish you all the <laughs> best. You're clearly you, doing a lot. You're clearly doing a lot. And, um, you yes, know, I, I would just look yes. up for more from you. Thank you for, for joining us. Okay, see you soon. All right, that's it for Artist Spotlight. Until next week. Yes, ma'am.